everyone! So today I thought that I would make a cool little video about all of the different foxes that I met during my time up in the Arctic, um, specifically all of my breeding foxes. So I was monitoring foxes to see whether or not they were going to have pups, and I had three, I believe three groups that wound up having pups that I followed throughout my entire time, and so I'm going to introduce you to every single one of them. Um, the first one that I'm going to introduce you to is named Taylor. Now Taylor's partner is Little Ross. Um, Taylor is a breeding female. She had a lot of pups, and uh, she actually was one of the most um, funny foxes that we had. Um, she got caught like upwards of eight times because she just liked all of the free food. So a couple of clips that I'm going to put in here are her um, getting released from the trap because we had already like taken her blood, we didn't need anything else from her, but she kept on going into our traps because she loved the sardines. Now, Taylor was a really good mama, um, but her partner, Little Ross, he was in the picture for probably the first little while when the pups were still in the den. But once the pups emerged, we really didn't see him, so I only have a couple of clips of him. I'm going to insert them right now. Now, moving on to another den. Um, this breeding female's name was Scarlet, and she wound up having pups. She's actually the first fox that I ever saw the pups emerge for. Um, she's a feisty little one you're going to see in this next video. Um, but her den wound up failing, so I don't know if the pups either died or she moved them to another location, but we could not find her after a certain amount of time. Um, so I wasn't able to follow her really all that much. I have this clip though of me letting her go because again, we recaptured her after we had already taken blood. We didn't need anything from her and she just was super into the sardines that we had. Okay, honey. How is she going nuts? Her partner was called Triple T, um, Triple Threat, I don't know, some other person named him, but uh, he was super vocal and um, got really like bald on his bottom very quickly, so arctic foxes tend to lose their fur very fast when the um, snow starts to melt, and his entire butt was completely void of the white fur, so that's how we kind of identified him very quickly. But in these few clips, you can see him vocalizing. It's a really cool way to know what a fox sounds like when they're calling each other. It's a territorial call that you're going to hear right here.
So this next group, um, their names are Circe and Baratheon. Now, that's kind of like a little hint. This entire um, den was named after the dire wolves from the Game of Thrones series. Um, so Cersei was super protective of her pups. She was the mama bear of the foxes. She was very aggressive towards me. She didn't like me doing anything with her pups. Um, and really Baratheon, which was the male fox, was the most present out of all of the dens. He was like the super dad. He was the best dad. So I'm going to insert a couple of pictures of Cersei right now. And then here's Baratheon for you. Now I'm gonna conclude this video with my two favorite foxes that were breeding together. Um, the female's name is Audrey and she's named after Audrey Hepburn. She is an absolutely beautiful fox and she was the nicest fox ever. She just kind of laid down on the den when I was working with her pups. She was super relaxed. You're gonna see, this is a recapture of her. She was very, very chill in the um, trap compared to the other females. And um, she was just such a sweetheart. So now I'm going to show you Vimy, uh, which is Audrey's partner, and he was just such a funny little guy, and it's really interesting because he was one of the smallest foxes, so um, size didn't indicate who they really bred with. So Vimy was the first fox that we caught during the season, and I'm going to put a little clip of us um, catching him in the trap and then taking him out, using the net, all of that kind of stuff here for you. that basically concludes this video for today. I hope you've enjoyed meeting my foxes and um, stay tuned because I'm going to keep you informed of how they did, um, their pups, the names of their pups, and you're going to see a lot of video of beautiful fox babies and it's just going to be a lot of fun. I'm a little bit